as you've heard, welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. In the last episode, we made our way back to Lookout Landing, and inside of the getaway sort of emergency room, we found the Royal Hidden Passage, something we've been traveling all the way up until here. We've made some good progress so far, but it seems like it just keeps going and going and going. So we're gonna find out in today's episode how deep it truly goes. Will we be able to travel the entirety of underneath the castle? I don't know, but right now we do have a like like looking at us and I don't like like it. So let's try to knock them out a little bit. Um, I think for right now, if we could maybe switch to a better sword, um, I think we should probably use a topad rod, topaz rod. Yep, so that we can stun you like that and then go crazy on you with some other things. So we'll figure out how much is left with this weapon, then switch over to the Soldier 2 Reaper and finish you off like that. That was pretty quick and easy, and because of that, we should get not one, but two shields. Awesome, and I'll also pick up another Traveler's Clay Bar. But I got two shields, two uh, chests, even better. Uh, we get some Soldier's Greaves, whoa! Hyrulean Guards favored these Greaves. They owe their distinctly high defense to the metal plates they're made from, but the added weight takes some getting used to. So let's actually go and equip that right now because it ups our defense. They are a little heavier, so they might move slower, but that's okay, because we're traveling indoors anyways. And inside of this chest, we have a wooden shield, but it also has shield guard up plus five. Interesting. Um, I guess I'll put that over something. Um, I might just do the flame meter shield. Um, so drop that, pick this up. Do I have pictures of both of these? Like, I do have a picture of that. So this is especially sort of bonus shield, which is pretty cool. And then over this way, we have a few things, it seems. If I swing with the rock hammer. Okay, it broke. Is that too big of a deal though? Now I can use the, not this, but the uh, the rock sledge. Don't push it, instead, break it open. It looks like just arrows and stuff, but it is good to get as many of them as I can anyways. We are at uh, 196 arrows at the moment, but there's still more to break into over this way. So if we do just try to find a couple more weapons, and on top of that, I should probably combine some of them with rocks again, just so that we can keep breaking through more of this stuff. So onto our rusty claymore. Same thing with that one. Feeling pretty good. <laughs> okay, so we're making some good progress around here. But what's going on in this room? Anything? Not really. This whole place seems so long forgotten. You never know what we might find. Hopefully more of that Hyrulean guard gear. Like, what's inside of this one? Maybe more of the same? We're gonna kick it open and find out. Maybe not kick it open, but we do get another soldier's claymore. Uh, well, that's what I have. Well, that's a Traveler's. Okay, so this might be new. A lightweight wet metal weapon forged for royal soldiers. It's decayed now, but still easy to wield. So it consumes less stamina during charge attacks. So if I drop maybe this, pick this up. I do want to just drop it really quickly to make sure we have a photo of it. We don't. The Soldier's Claymore is a new one. As you can see, it's even decayed. But uh, good to have that photo. This we already have. So yeah, very nice to see that. So we'll probably combine that with the stone soon enough, but there's also a Traveler's Sword, um, another Traveler's Claymore. So the soldier stuff is the new things we're looking for. So what's going on down here? Down here? We did find like one scary uh, skeleton moblin kind of deal, and we're running into these darker stones, which take a lot more work to actually destroy. But under this way, we can find a couple of things for sure. First off, a couple of monster parts that from the monsters we defeated last episode, but there's something in there. I don't know what just yet, but it might be another bubble gem. So let's just swim over as soon as we can. Oh, there's some fairies. That'd be really cool to get some of those. We've already got a photo of a fairy, so if we can just catch it without making too much noise. Easier said than done. Oh uh, yeah, I might scare off one of them. So be it, we'll be really sneaky with this next little bit, get the tireless frog, which I guess I needed a photo of that, but there is more I can take a photo of over there. So if I just go really quietly, we just hang out. No, 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 no. Not what I needed. Grab the fairy. <laughs> okay, can I cancel the gust? I don't think I can cancel the gust. But I can walk up to this fairy real quietly and get it. Okay, so that frog is already pictured. Okay, so that was still a nice little prize to find. And under this, we get a blue rupee. Don't mind if I do. So I don't believe there's anything else going on around here. So back to what we were doing before, getting some glowing cave fish. I do want the tireless frog before it tires me out, but unfortunately, couldn't quite get it. That's okay. Doesn't look like there's too much on the other side, so if we want to, we could just climb right back up from over here. Okay, so what's the deal with this? How can I bust into here? 
I guess for now we use the rock hammer. <laughs> it's gonna take a minute. Oh man. There we go, that's a little bit better. The problem is the rocks are also just really small compared to you know, some of the bigger chunks will break off with the other color. So it takes some work to get through, but feels pretty well worth it to me. Okay, a rock hammer is badly damaged, but we are getting some progress. And what do you know, I have another one. So I will, boom, break through this as much as I can, maybe a little bit more. And we do have some more goodies on the other side, at least one more bomb flower, which I definitely want to use. Just been trying to be a bit careful about using these. Now, that wasn't nice. <laughs> that didn't really break through as much as I wanted it to. I did want to just make sure there wasn't anything on this side. Uh, just because, you know, what if there is another little cave entrance on this side? You never really know until we break through and look, but it looks like we're in the clear for that part. So over here, we might be able to get some extra stuff. That's gonna roll down, but we're heading down that, down that way anyways. Before you hit me, can I get this? Gotcha. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. Back to this then, the rock hammer. How much deeper will this go? Maybe we've reached the end. I don't think we have. I mean, we haven't reached the check mark for this, which means there's at least a bubble gem somewhere, I think. Where are we going now? Looks like over here. Whoa, okay. And another keys. Hold on, hold on. Give me a second. Gotcha. So I'll grab all of this, and what is that up there? Oh, whoa, hey, it's an electric one. Did that count? The electric keys? Okay, very cool. Uh, what's not so cool is if it defeats me. So yeah, let's go ahead and shoot it. And we'll get the electric keys um, eyeball there too. Huh. The electric keys eyeball. Electric keys eyeballs are imbued with electric power and are useful in making elixirs. Attach one to an arrow to grant a homing quality to the arrow. That's cool. Oh, our album's full. I don't know if that picture counted. It did, okay. So I should probably just clear out a couple of these then really fast just so that we have space for everything else. Because, you know, we take a lot of pictures, but our compendium still consists of everything we've taken a photo of, even if we do this, so it's not too big of a deal. Actually, I want to keep these. These are story relevant. So uh, we'll delete those. Yep. All right, we're back to it. So what more can we do around here? It looks like the cave does continue this way, where there's some water as well. Whoa, okay. There's just so much here. I'm glad that, you know, we're continuing to explore it today. Get some more amber. And I do want to try breaking into this. Easier said than done, of course, but there goes our rock hammer. I still have this one, and then I'll have to go and get some more. I mean, I do have some right now. I just need to combine it with stuff. So if I were to go like this and fuse it, maybe we can find a rock somewhere near here. Let's go all the way back up just to be sure. Yep, got that one. Should be good enough for now. Doesn't add too much damage, of course, but that's not what we're looking for. So if I go back over here, continue to break through all this. Oh, now we're really breaking through it. Oh, what's in here? I think it might be the little, oh, I thought it was the bubble gem frog. Instead, we do get a nice collection of ores, including what might be a new one. Yeah, the rare ore deposit. Glad to get this one. Would you look at that? So with that now found, I'm a little curious. We take a look at our album for our Hyrule Compendium. We actually completed the section. So now we have everything um, in the treasure section. Isn't that great? So we don't have to worry about finding anything there. Obviously we still have a lot more with equipment, materials, monsters, creatures. There's all have so much more left to go, but yeah, good step forward. What do we get out of this one? Ooh, we get ourselves a lot of good stuff. We get diamond, our first diamond in the game, the most precious ore one can find. Its signature sparkle has charmed Hyruleans for generations. As such, it is sold for a very high price since ancient times. As well, of course, rock saw and a topaz. This precious yellow ore contains the power of electricity. It's been known to fetch a high price since ancient times. And then of course, sapphire, which we're pretty used to. And then of course in here, we get some luminous stone. Really happy with the results of that one. But if we head down this way, what more is there to find in this cave? It looks like a lot more. Let's just try to get to the surface for now. I feel like we've sort of been here already, but we definitely haven't. It looks familiar. I'm actually really afraid we're gonna run into that Ganon thing again. Uh, 
Maybe I should save? Maybe now's a great time to save, just to be careful. <laughs> I have a feeling that's worth our while. There we go. There's so many of the luminous stones all over the place, so. And this giant pile of rocks here? What could be under all this? There's so much to do here. And what's going on over here? So much to do. Um, Where do I get started? Oh no, 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 no. Uh, it's getting spooky, it's getting really spooky. Let me try to break something open, like that. Very nice. And I guess I'll try to get up here. I don't see anything up here, but it does give me a good vantage point just to sort of think things through because it's all red and I, I just, I don't like how red it is around here. It's definitely the gloom is near. But we can at least get a couple more luminous stones that we can definitely turn into something later. Is there anything over here that might be worth checking out though? So far, it's just like little vantage points where if we do need to fight something here, it might be worth staying up this way. Okay, so over this way, we got even more luminous stones. Break this one open. Not seeing anything over here, so. Get another giant bright plume, and then maybe. Yeah. Oh wait, I missed. <laughs> I don't know if that takes durability for swinging like that if we don't make contact. I don't think it does, but I can never be too sure. Let's break this one. Get some flint out of that, actually. Not even any stones out of it, weird. It's not as scary around here for some reason as it was there. I'm gonna save again. I'm gonna keep saving so I don't have to redo all of that if we do get knocked out by something horrifying. But if this doesn't work out, I can at least go in there, right? What should I do about this? I guess I can start chipping through. What if there's a stone talus under all this? Uh. All right, like, keep slamming. Whoa! What is it? We're, we're excavating right now. There's a skeleton under here. This is so cool. Well, let's try to break it free. That might not be a good idea, but we're to find out. This is so neat. Uh, I'll try to do that a little bit. What is this thing? Come on. A little bit more. I think we got its head free. What is this? It's huge. Should probably take you some of that extra stuff, but yeah. keep trying to do that a little bit. I'm stuck inside of it. Sonok! Ah! Run! Run! Oh my goodness! Whoa! There he is! Look at the big guy! Wow! Definitely want to get a picture of that. So it is a skeleton Hinox. Oh man, that is so cool. But I'm gonna hit you pretty good with that. I don't have any bow equipped now, so let's go ahead and do that really fast. And I definitely want to use this Bokeable and Arm Bones if I can get over to you. Ready? Oh, that definitely hurts. It doesn't, you know, last for super long, but I need to run because you're not gonna be happy with that. This is so cool. Okay, it didn't switch to my bow that I wanted. So let's do that really fast and then give you another good shot in the eye there. Ready and oh, I miss. No, 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 come on. Got you pretty good there, but our weapon is now broken or at least part of it is. Uh-oh, uh-oh. What? He's gonna rip out one of his bones? You gonna chuck that at us? I think he might. <laughs> wow, Tulin's helping. Okay, come on, keep running, keep running. He's just stomping through all this. Maybe I should keep getting him to do that. There we go, if he breaks it, I don't have to. <laughs> this makes it so much easier. Ready? Ah, almost got him. He's getting too close for comfort at the moment. Got you good there though, that's for sure. Let's go crazy on him then. Our mob arm is badly damaged. We can get a couple good hits in. Uh, and then, what if I hit him with a topaz rod? Yeah, I don't think electricity works against skeletons, does it? That might have worked a little bit. Oh no, almost got you. Ah, he's turning. Is he going for Tula now? You leave Tula alone. Oh, he's pulling out another bone. Come on. Oh no, Ooh, close one. There we go. Oh, it's his eye. Ready, beat that up. <laughs> this is so weird. Uh, it's gross. Oh no, I should probably not use that weapon. Let's try this, the Soldier 2 Spear. What do we do about this? Uh, he's trying to get back into his socket. Can't let that happen. 
Oh, did he get it? I think he got it. Gross. Oh, he has so much health left. Come on, come on. Got you good this time. So what do I do about that? What if I attacked him directly? That doesn't do anything. So I gotta go for the eye, which is over here. So if I keep the eye away from the body, we might be able to make this work. Yo, what are you gonna do now, huh? I think it's behind me. Oh, it's behind me, isn't it? Oh no, I'm in trouble. Come on, just keep jabbing it. This has gotta do something eventually. No, we're out of it. Uh, Did we catch you? We got you! All right, that was crazy. What a cool fight. And we get a lot of new things for it too. Whoa, okay. Let's take a look at some of these. So this is the Knight's Broadsword. Very cool. Then over here, what is this thing? The Stalnox Horn, ugh. They're still chattering. They're gonna whisper stuff to us. And then over here, we have the Knight's Halberd. There we go. So we have soldier stuff and knight stuff. A little bit different. And then, whatever this is. This is a Hinox Tooth. This Hinox Tooth is almost unbelievably big. Attach it to an arrowhead to increase its attack power or brew it into an elixir. Then of course we have um, this right here. This is the Knight's Halberd. Now decayed, this Halberd was made for Knights of Hyrule. It reflects their courage in defending the kingdom. It can yield powerful attacks when, they're, when you're down to your last heart. And the Stonox Horn. The Impaled Skulls should serve as a warning, but if you do obtain one, attach it to a weapon to vastly increase its attack power, or cook it with a critter to make an elixir. So this will add 29 damage. And then finally, the Knight's Broadsword. Knights of Hyrule once carried this sword. Even in its dis decayed state, it shows its true resolve in desperation and can yield powerful attacks when you're down to your last heart. Whoa, that last part's actually a cool note. Okay, so I do wanna use a rock hammer to at least break this open, get some more things. I did notice that over here, we have a few rubies we can grab right there and an opal and a few more of them here. So this is why it might be worth it to look around these rocks even a bit more, but deep within those stones, we were able to excavate out a Stonox. How crazy of a fight that was. I really like it. So yeah, let's do this, we'll fuse and keep breaking some of this stuff. I don't know if I'll find too much more, but it feels well worth it to check. I mean, there's an opal right here, so there we go. I don't know if it's worth checking some of these smaller deposits, but you never know at this point. I can get another rusty claymore. This one looks like it could yield some stuff. Okay, could we just make this float above us? No, okay, it eventually all falls. We can get another rusty claymore. I think that's gonna be the most of it. If we really wanted to clear every inch of it out, we could, but. That just feels like more labor than necessary. So you might think, okay, we're done. But I don't think we're done. Look at this over here. You can see that there's clearly something. So I do wanna get a little bit closer to see if we can't get into that room. So if I go like this and break this open, oh, that didn't even do anything. Is this too powerful for us? It might just be. That cave-in might be too strong. Well, there is still more. You can see there's an opening on that side. That's not where we came in. So I do wanna get a little bit closer, just to be extra, extra sure there's not anything we can do to break into that. We can get a bright cap there. I mean, I can't really stand on it too much, right? I mean, I can sorta, kinda. Whoa, I can break through it. Wait a minute. This is so cool. So what's going on on this side? Oh, there's a little frog. I missed him. Oh. What is that? Whoa. What are you? An ice-like. Very glowy. We are getting really in over our heads here, aren't we? Um, what do I wanna do against you then? I guess fight you like I have everybody else, but if we use something a little spicy, like a fire fruit. Oh, oh, that gets you to spit out your stuff right away. So before we do too much to you here, let's, um, I don't have a ruby weapon with me right now, but what I could do is equip my ruby shield Something like that might be a good idea. I don't know if it's actually gonna do too much, but that wasn't so bad. You wanna try that again? Let's try the, the spicy pepper this time. Doesn't work, okay. Wanna keep with the fire fruit. Okay, come on, come on. Gotcha. This thing takes a little bit of swing in. One more. Gotcha, so that's a new enemy defeated too. This is so much fun. I'm just having a lot of fun just exploring all this. So we have over here, the ice-like stone is a new item. 
Let's grab that. A stomach stone kept inside a very low temperature body. It stays cold even outside the body of the creature that it contained it. Cook it with a critter to make an elixir. Will do. And we also have this chest right here, which has rock sod. Then I'm guessing this is another piece of Hylian gear in here. That would be so cool if it is. If we could find this entire set. Yes, it is. The soldier's helm. Headgear made from sturdy metals for frontline soldiers. Praised for the defensive capabilities, the only helms that remain are those that survived the calamity. If we could find the full set in today's episode, I would be thrilled. All right. So there is that. In here, we can get the rock hammer and just bust these open and at least get some more arrows out of it. Anything up there? Oh, wait a minute. I see extra goodies to grab. I need to find my way up there first. So maybe do this. Would that be enough? I mean, I guess if I really, really want to, couldn't I just... I don't know if that's gonna... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Right, right here. I should just be able to go through that, right? That won't bring me all the way to the surface. It won't, which also makes me really curious. It let me use recall there. Oh, it just bring me back up to where the shrine is. Okay, I thought, oh, maybe we could sneak up to the castle. Don't think that's the case. What's inside of this one then? And that really makes me think, another knight's broadsword. Maybe I should be looking back, you know, for some other things. So we'll, we'll drop it, drop the rusty claymore, because this is technically better. Uh, I wonder if we should be looking back for more stuff like that. Um, in the one area where we found the other piece of gear, maybe there is another chest up above that I didn't see. We'll get five more arrows here as well. I think with that, this room is all finished up. I really don't see anything more besides, you know, maybe a couple weapons we can come back and grab at some point. That was so cool. So we're two pieces down out of the three gear pieces we need. We're getting somewhere, all right. But what was with the gloom that was starting to pop up as we continued over here? There might be a lot more yet left to find. You can see it's coming back up. That is really freaking me out. So what I think we wanna do is we wanna fuse some more stuff with rock. So if I can run over here really quickly and just use that. And then maybe a Knight's Halberd poking our way through with something like this can be useful too. So we got all that done. Going over here, what more can we find? So a lot of adventuring so far today. I might just want to poke my way through this. I don't need the shield at the moment, though. We'll do that. Okay. Gonna rock here. Gonna keep chipping through. It's working pretty well so far. And I'm actually technically through to the other side if I can squeeze through this. And I can. Oh no. Ah, Tulin, you gotta stop scaring me like that. What is going on down here? Once again, I think I should save. With the gloom popping up more often, I mean, if that Ganon thing shows up, I don't think I have much of a chance of beating it. Here, hold on. Uh, Whoa, what's back here? I don't know, but there's some monsters down that way too, so we gotta be careful. I don't think that's gonna make it fiery like this well. Gotta get more of these soon. It looks like I've used a lot of them up. There is an enemy waiting down there. It might just be another um, skeleton kind of enemy. Did that work? I think it worked, but not very much. Here, I got another one. Just trying to get through these vines. There we go. And then through this way. This feels like a really sneaky path. I like it. So the strong construct bow is a bit beat up here. They hear something, but they just can't really make out what it is. Which is, you know, good for me because I can't make out what they are either. What's going on in this room? Uh we got another bright cap, some more Hylian shrooms, which this is all fine and good. Oh, another truffle. Truffles are really good right now. I'm hearing some scary, scary stuff. Uh, and we could just continue that way. I know, I'm gonna save again. I'm sorry, but just to be extra sure, every time I do anything, that might take some time to redo. But what I'm really curious about is these giant glowy ore deposits. Whoa. Um, yeah, let's get over here. Try to break some of these open. So obviously, these will just give us even more luminous stones. Which, I can certainly make the most out of. I might wanna switch over to the sword here. And just start swinging that around a little bit. 
We get some flint too. Honestly, I was expecting more out of that swing than just one. The music here is creepy. There is something on the other side. And I feel like it may be just time to figure out what that is. Okay, get some fun out of that. I mean, I do get some stuff out of this, but is it really worth going too crazy? Oh, it's a blue horriblin. There he is, boom. Blue horriblin, got the picture. Black horriblin, actually. Whoa, wait a minute. Blue are, are, are like the second tier, I think. The black ones are the third, if I remember correctly from Breath of the Wild. I don't know if we can handle this. Before we go too crazy with this, son, let's maybe run, <laughs> run away. Oh, they're coming, oh, scary. I don't like it, but we'll do what we can. We oh, got you pretty good there, and you can see it doesn't do much damage to them. Our bow is broken. Um, Now, just because they're strong doesn't mean we can't handle this fight, but it does make it a lot more difficult. Um, and we have a lot of things here that can help us. What do I want to do this time? I'm thinking, uh, I mean, some of this should add extra damage, I think. Some of it will make it move faster. The Arrow Eyeball, of course, will make it, I think we want the Keys Eyeball, make it find its mark a little bit easier, because they're right above our heads at the moment. And there's so many of them. We're hitting them pretty good, though. If I could just get out here and give you a quick slam, like that, wow, that actually sent you flying, too. So, uh, I think at the moment, I can only really go one at a time here, but I can deal with you, shoot your friend, send you falling back down, right? Ah, not quite, not quite. Let's use distance and space to our advantage here. They're gonna be throwing big stuff at us. Oh, you know what? This is where, uh, hi guys. Uh, I might be able to do a couple of things that you guys have suggested when it comes to them throwing rocks at me. Okay, thank you, Tulan. Whoa, okay. Got you pretty good there, but I need to back it up. Hit your friend. Ah, they won't come past here though, which is good. Oh, got you good again. They're not gonna be happy about that one. Come on. Ooh, we got him. There's one down, two more left to fight. Gotcha. All right, we're running over and I'm just gonna give you everything I got here. This sword is a little bit difficult to swing. I was going to throw that rock back. Some of you were saying if an enemy throws a rock at me, I can throw it back at them with recall. Oh no, whoa, run away, run away, run away. What can I do here to maybe make this a little bit more difficult for them? I could use another Keys Eyeball just so that it finds its mark a little bit easier. And then I go for you with that extra space, right? The problem is they have so much distance on me with things. Um, if I could even just use a Topaz Rod or something, give me a little bit of extra time here. So. No, uh, wait, wait. Okay, that could've been really bad. But luckily, I electrocute one, I electrocuted the other. Um, if we go with a soldier blade and just really start swinging on them with this, I get one of them knocked back. And the double slam on the other, I need a better weapon. Something I can swing faster. I don't know if I really have that right now. So we'll try the uh, soldier two reaper. And I got you. That means just your friend over here, right? Or did, I thought I beat you. Oh no, his health is still there. I thought it was empty. Okay, you are sort of stuck, I think. Ow, that hurt more than I was expecting it to. Come on. No, you don't, no, you don't. Ah, come on, oh, I blocked it. Wow, I was not expecting that. So let's see what we got here. We defeated all of those enemies to get a black horrible and horn. Whoa, that is so cool. So it was a hard fight, but we made it work for ourselves. We got the horrible and guts too. Rare material dropped by a horrible and it's very bitter and unsuitable for cooking, but it makes an effective elixir when cooked with a critter and of course the black horrible horn. This large heavy horn has slowly grown into a present, its present hammer-like shape. Attach it to a weapon to greatly increase its attack power or cook it with a critter to make an elixir. All right, we got a whole host of things we can use here, like this rusty halberd stick. I mean, most of our stuff looks like we have a full inventory at the moment. So I guess I can't really make the most out of, but it's okay. We will eventually, once I start breaking some of this other stuff. So rock hammer, got some amber and stuff there. I'm not seeing too much when it comes to like other enemies that might pop up. I think we've really dealt with the horrible den, den pretty well. So I just wanna explore the ground for now. Then we'll make our way up after, because you can see there's still more stuff to break into up there. But I think this might be more of a distraction on our path than the final destination, which I don't know what the final destination is. Is this something I'm not supposed to be doing right now? You know what I mean? Maybe I'm like way ahead of myself with this. I have no clue. It's just the game gave me the path to go down here and I can't help myself. I just love to adventure. So, you know, we're just gonna check out what we can find. 
And if at some point it's getting very clear that, you know, we can't quite handle it as much as I'd like to, then we come back later. Do I have a picture of the guts? I don't think I can take a picture of the guts. So there is most of the stuff on the ground from what I can tell, a couple more arrows there, but now we can climb up here. And there is a chest up this way. And I think we saw some rocks before. Don't know where exactly. Okay. I might just have to, uh... There we go, whoa. Get the bright bloom seed. Some more meat. Yeah, I don't know where those rocks went. Well, let's open up this chest. It could have our next Hylian piece of gear, our knight's thing. We get a knight's halberd halberd. <laughs> cool. Uh, I think we'll drop this rusty claymore for it. Now decayed, this halberd was made for Knights of Hyrule. So that seems like it's gonna be quite damaging actually. So really happy to see that. Where was it? I think right up there. So if I switch of course over to ascend, go over here and bring ourselves up. We might find a thing or two. I'm gonna break that open for now with that, but then we'll switch over to this next one. It's gotta be something good in here. This one's badly damaged too. Ooh, it's another rare ore one. So happy to find that another diamond and three sapphires. Excellent. Now over here, ooh, very cool. Got some more stuff. I think we're coming up on the end of everything we can find around here. I missed a Bright Bloom Seed. I think I'll be okay though. I don't know if the Bright Bloom Seeds scare off the Orb ones in any way. Like, do they not like the brightness? Seeing how they are always spending time in the caves and stuff. We do have more truffles though. Definitely wanna find those and use those to cook eventually. And I can pick up one of these too, now that we've broken some weapons. Uh, there we go. Good combos there for sure. So yeah, what's going on in this room? There's clearly more to do. And as we get farther, the uh, the gloom follows. In this room though is what I'm mostly focused on for now. I don't know if these will feature anything for us besides, you know, extra flint and luminous stones, which are great, but not everything I'm after. I'm trying to see if there's maybe rooms behind these. This one does not feature a room behind it. I think that's about all of them. So if there's not much to do here besides get a bunch of luminous stones, which is great, I just don't have the durability to really handle it very much. We'll continue through here. I might have to go back and get stones. <laughs> I forgot that I came in this way just through that little corner because we went through there. Maybe we got really busy there. We should save again. I know I keep saving, but I think you can see it's a good reason. I mean, luckily we haven't had to use the save, so we're not technically, you know, breaking the system or anything. And to keep chipping through this. And I might be able to get through this, but I also might just have to uh, find some more stones around. Hold on, get back up, Link. There we go. Not so bad. If I can find just a few more rocks on the floor, that'd be great. I might have to go back for that, though. It's so scary down here. There we go, our rock sledge broke. That's okay, so I know that there were a couple more rocks down that way, if I'm not mistaken. Let's find out for ourselves. If we go like this, no rocks around. Oh, here we go, here we go. So I just need to get some more of these claymores that we found before and the broadswords and such. I'll just combo them up. I know it's not the most damaging thing in the world to do, but still well worth it. And then we'll do another knight's broadsword if we can find another rock. Gotta be one around here somewhere. Okay, right over here. Two of them should do the trick for now. Hopefully we can find some more weapons soon to continue with that, but we can backtrack to get some other weapons if we need to. It's a lot. <laughs> this whole area is a bunch of work so far, but I'm enjoying it. It's a really cool thing that we could explore the caves of Hyrule now, because before that wasn't like a thing we could do. Okay, I guess I could have used Descend to get up here, but we're already here. There we go. So let's try to continue to break into here. I can yeah, just go up to here, make sure I'm using the right weapon. I am, got it. Getting farther along. And there was a lot of rusty claymores and stuff I passed up because my inventory was full. So if I really need them, we can go back and get them. But for now, there's a few more that I've made it through. And with that, we find oh, quite a few more bomb flowers, which it seems like the game wants me to use them right here. Wow, 
But there's stuff up there. A lot of stuff up here. Hold on, we got truffles. The music has gotten so scary. What's up this way then? We will, we, we will go back for sure. There's even more over here. As we're sort of entering deeper parts of Hyrule, I mean, my number one goal here is to find the Knight's Gear. If we can do that, then I might be happy enough to turn back and come back here once we're more well prepared. Because it feels like this might go on forever. Like, maybe I'm totally mistaken and this is a way to, you know, like, get to the end of the game. I don't want that just yet. There's plenty of other things to experience first. I don't know. Uh, but that's really gonna help us bust through. There's still so much more to get through. It never ends. That one was a tough rock. Are we even going the right way? I've sort of lost the plot here. I think we are. We're so deep into this though, it feels wrong to turn back. Whoa, an electric one. Okay, well, I won't deny the photo opportunity. Uh, so let's get a shock-like pictured, and then we'll turn back, for now. We're coming back to get you, don't you worry. For now, I wanna get over here and try out whatever this is about, you know? I mean, we got a couple of bomb flowers for it, so bound to be something cool in this. I definitely need to find a bigger source of bomb flowers though, because I just don't find them as much as I'd like. Okay, so here we go, bomb flower. Breaking through like that. It seems like there might be another enemy. Okay, that's all I really need. We'll get this rusty claymore. I'll get that rock slot right there. And we'll see, oh, hey. How are you doing? <laughs> if I could just, you know, sneak in there really quick. Wait a minute, give me a second here. And then hit ya. Okay, I definitely want that Bokoblin arm, but more than that, I need to defeat you first. Get the arm, get the broadsword, and pick up all this stuff. So what's this way then? Ooh, I think I know. I think this might be where we can find the final piece of gear. I really, really hope so. But we got some enemies to deal with first. Like we have you over here. That's gonna be a one hit knockout on you, right? Oh well. <laughs> What's under this? There's certainly something. If we, uh... Whoa. Wait, isn't that... No, that's... I don't know where this is gonna go. I got a whole bunch of stuff to figure out. First things first. Bokoblin arm can be comboed with another one as I've done before because it just makes quite a damaging combo. But what's the deal with all this? Uh, we get a soldier's bow over here, that feels really nice. And then also another soldier's shield. Should probably drop one of the ones I have right now, like the wooden shield, just to make sure we have this. And then the soldier's spear. Let me make sure that, oh, these aren't pictured. Okay, so we got that pictured now. Then do I have that bow? I just picked up here. Pretty sure I have this picture, but we're gonna find out. I do. Okay, over this way, that's the soldier's broadsword, the traveler's claymore. We'll leave those. There's some weird noises going on in there, but you can see another bad guy. Is there anything up this way either? No. Okay, so the music's getting pretty exciting, even though there's not too much I can do about it at the moment. What we wanna do is just hop down here. Oh, so sneaky. Anything behind me? Another bomb flower, I need as many as I can get. So definitely grab that, and another one over here too. Quite the reward. So, I don't see the easiest way to get up there besides just using the ascend, maybe a little bit over. And we know that the uh, skeleton's gonna be right here for us, so let's be ready for it. I didn't really wanna use that, but as you can see, I can knock you out like this, and please, will this be the final piece of gear we need? I sure hope it is. Yes! All right, soldier's armor. Hyrulean guards praised this armor for its superior defense. Made from sturdy plates of metal, the high level of craftsmanship that went into this, it is obvious just with just a glance. That is so cool. So we have the full soldier armor set. Isn't that cool? And we'll of course grab whatever other goodies we can discover here. I think we might want to, if we got like a rusty claymore and comboed it with that, I mean, it wouldn't be the most long lasting combo, but it wouldn't be so bad. Okay, so we got that. Um, could pick up some of those. Can I just pick this door up? I can't. So I don't really know what we wanna do with these boxes. I might just slice away at them. I definitely need to get more stones comboed with my swords. Oh, that just broke it. Ooh, okay. Um, the claymore might be better for this. Just getting a lot more arrows. 
a ton more arrows actually. Nice, so I'm really happy with the progress we just made. That's for sure. Okay, so now that we have this nice gear, we're good to head right back over this way. So we will use this just to get back up from this side. There is still more we can explore, but if it gets to the point where it feels like we're too in over our heads, and in some ways we're sort of under our heads, you know, because we're under the ground level right now. But jokes aside, if it feels like it's too much, we can always turn back and come back some other time. But I feel like we've done a great level of progress so far. I'd like to keep it going. But you know, just with that in mind, because I don't know when this is supposed to end. How is it going to end, you know? Because uh, we are getting closer and closer to the castle now. We're not even quite at the gatehouses or anything like that. Uh, we do get some extra gear over this way. And like I said, there's probably more we can get in that same idea of like breaking through these rocks. But for right now, I do need to focus on stuff like this. If I could maybe use, I got like the white choo-choo jelly. If I could freeze you and then get up that way, start smacking you around a little bit, that might be a good idea. We can use the Knight's Knight's Halberd. There we go. Doing some good damage, but this thing has a lot of health. So that definitely makes it a bit scary. Come on, just keep hitting it. Not so bad. Then I might wanna do that again, but instead of using that, what if I use like the ice fruit? Boom, awesome. That seems like it was a good idea. We still need more here. Come on, just keep hitting it. We're almost there. Oh, scary, scary. But we got it. Okay, very cool. So another enemy taken down and with it, another treasure chest. So if I take a look at this, this should be another thing to photograph. It is the, um, the shock-like stone. Cool. So, got that in our album, as well as a shock fruit. Ooh, when cooked correctly, this shockingly tasting fruit, or tasty fruit, stimulates the consumer's muscles and grants increased attack power during thunderstorms, as well as a shock-like stone, a stomach stone exposed to high voltage inside the body of a shock-like. It maintains some charge even outside the creature. Cook it with a critter to make an elixir. We also have some weapons I can't quite pick up at the moment, but inside of the treasure chest, I'm desperate to know what will we find? A royal, but whoa, what a reward. 38 damage. In the past, the King of Hyrule presented this bow to the most only to the most talented archers in the land. Its combat capabilities are as impressive as its extravagant design. That is so cool. And that really makes me think that we're sort of really ahead of things at the moment. Because <laughs> we're finding some really intense gear such as this. 38 damage for a bow is way above what we've been finding recently. But with you know better gear comes more of a challenge. Challenges we might not be entirely equipped to take on. I mean, that's the beauty of a game like this is you are as equipped as your skills allow you to be. Oh, wait, yeah, this is where we came in before. So is there even more stuff up there? We're gonna find out. But on top of that, you know, I'm not the most skilled of players, so if we can get some help through the gear that we find, that's also a good option. So there's a path up here as well as a path down that way. But for right now, I can just Make the most out of this one. Find some extra bomb flowers and maybe some more. I think it wants me to, of course, use the bomb flower to break this open. And which bow am I? Okay, I'm not using my brand new fancy shiny bow. That's good. All right, well, got a lot for that. Uh, What's the easiest way to get up there, though? I guess now that I've done that, maybe I could just use the ascend ability. I don't know. I, I might just have to climb the old-fashioned way. What is going on with all this? And hey guys, uh, nice to see ya, but I gotta, boom, there we go. Here, toss this before I get in trouble with the next one. Uh, up you go, and down you go. Feel bad doing that to them, but that's what has to be done. Well, the unfortunate thing is because of that, I don't have any enemies around here to combine with my sword. Uh, I could use one more bomb arrow, but I really want to save these in general. So, last one I'll use for now. If we don't find any rocks, I'll just have to turn back. Uh, we are finding stuff, but none of it is exactly what I was hoping for. Um, yeah, let's turn back for now. I'll come back over here in just a moment, but there was another path down that way anyway. So if I can find any stones along the way, that'd be great. But if not, you know, not worth getting too worried about. We can backtrack for them somewhere. Hey, what's the deal with all this then? Whoa. Whoa, there's a rare one up there. So, oh, and there's the bubble jump frog. All right, buddy. Oh, wait, you get back here. Gotcha. So I guess we'll get down this way now and grab a bubble jump. So will that give us the check mark for this area? Uh, 
man, we've made it far. It does. That is so exciting because that really might mean that we've completed everything we need to complete around here. I mean, at least for like the major things. I'm going to put that under the Traveler's Claymore. If I were to make this all fired up, would the fire spread the way we need it to? Or would the spreading eventually stop? It doesn't spread all the way up, unfortunately. It doesn't quite work that way. That's okay. For right now, I want to get some extra goodies. Some more amber, a sapphire. Another one over here. Oh, oh wait, no, the fire is spreading. It just took its time. That's exciting. That should make it a lot easier to get back at. And even get up to higher spots that we didn't get to before. It doesn't look like it's gonna spread to every inch of it, of course, but pretty close to it. Okay, back up here then. There were some goodies we missed, like this one over here. Got it. And don't forget this one. So how are we getting up there? I mean, I might just wanna glide across. I go like this. I guess I could have used Tulin's help there, but I think we'll be all right with what we have. There we go, because there was a nice golden one waiting for us here. Don't mind if I do. We get a topaz, a ruby, no diamond this time, unfortunately. But So we got two diamonds in today's episode. I'm not complaining, that's for sure. Uh, but we do have another rusty claymore that I can use to combo with that rock. Now I'm feeling good. All right, Tulin, let's get ourselves across just like that. Very nice, so that is everything on this side. If I were to do this, I think we'll be right back where we were. And I don't think we've passed up anything that we haven't returned to at this point. Um, This is starting to feel like I did a little too much. Uh, let's go back. <laughs> Whoops, not the best angling for that one then. Good to know. That is so crazy. I'm very happy that we can return to the surface at any point like that, just not exactly where I intended it. I just wanted to get through this route. Just like this, right? Perfect, much better. So let's use that to get up here and see what else we can continue to find. Because there's clearly more. We just have to discover it for ourselves. Okay. Getting more rusty claymores. Okay, this one was generous with uh, not being too much to actually survive through. What is this? What is this? Deep beneath this land, our mighty first ruler imprisoned the Demon King. To ensure the king's magic would hold, we erected a castle here to protect the sacred site. Without the castle in place, the site may be disturbed, allowing the Demon King's hatred and rage to be revived. The preservation of this castle is therefore tied to the prosperity of the kingdom. May it watch over an eternal peace. Whoa, so that really confirms that the castle was made for the sole purpose of keeping the Demon King Ganon, I guess, trapped down there with the sacrifice of the first king of Hyrule, Rairu. And that's so cool, but pretty crazy. There's reasons, oh, hey, get out of here. There's a reason why Zelda was told to never enter the cave, to never enter below the castle. But in some ways it had to be done because we needed to get to the end of the gloom. So we are just in the Hyrule Castle right now. That's pretty crazy. It seems like there's a lot more we could maybe do here, but this is where I have to ask myself, is this what we should be doing right now? You know? Hold on, let's get you a little bit, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you a hard time for sure, at least. I have 40 damage with their Pokeblend arm bones, <laughs> so I can really kick your butt, both uh, literally and figuratively here. Uh, let's go with one more with the Soldier 2 Reaper. And there we go, we gotcha. What is in this treasure chest then? If you don't mind me asking, we get ourselves a soldier shield again. Um, I'll definitely wanna take that, maybe over this flame emitter shield. We just really don't need this. Um, get all this stuff. These are nice weapons, but none of which I really need all that much, I don't believe. Oh wait, wooden bow. Hey, this is new. I wanna pick that up. And then over here we have just the uh, traveler saying, so yeah, let's try this, the wooden bow. This wooden bow may not be the most reliable for battling monsters, but it is excellent for hunting small animals. Well, always cool to get some more, I suppose. See, I can't really hold any of this stuff at the moment, but it's good to know it's here. That night's halberd is definitely worth picking up though. So I have this here, let's get back over this way. 
I mean, I think we're about at the end of it, though. There's nowhere mo more to go down, but we can con continue going up through the staircase. Here we are. Oh no, but it keeps going and going and going. It's crazy. I think we can keep spiraling up here, if not anything else, out of curiosity. Um, okay, you know what? Yeah, get rid of you and you and your two friends over this way. Gotcha. <laughs> Might not be able to get all the goodies, but I got most of them. I just want to know what's up here then. Even more. It just, it never ends. And that is a black Pokemon. With a place to cook up some food too. So, let's take a quick picture of you. But I think it's enough we're gonna back out of here. Cause I don't think we really are in the cave anymore. We're just in Hyrule Castle. I mean, I don't know if a better way to get here is the problem. We can find a shortcut here. Man, these guys have so much health. And that's why it doesn't feel like this is the best idea at the moment. I mean, eventually we will get more powerful stuff and that'll help, but right now I'm pulling the clinic on this guy. We are just hitting him with everything we got. We can freeze him for a second. Hit him with the uh, Bokoblin arm claymore. <laughs> One more, got it. There we go. That was pretty good though. We're really good at battling in this game so far. We got a black Bokoblin horn, which is totally new. And then the uh, guts, which don't count as something we can take a picture of. A vicious three-pronged horn. Attach it to a weapon to greatly increase its attack power. Or cook it with a critter to make an elixir. I know that I need to start doing more fusions like that if I really want to get farther in this game. I've just been trying to save it for when we really need it, but I start to feel like we need it. We get another soldier's bow too, as well as this rock hammer. I'm sorry to learn, but I'm just trying to get this. Uh, there we go. Uh, let's check this out too. We get a knight's halberd, which I don't entirely need right now. So I guess I could drop the one I did have, or maybe one of these. There we go. Um, what I could do actually, if I wanted to, drop this. Um, Cause I have two of these. Oh, I wish it was the other way around. Hmm. I don't know. We'll leave it there for now. I'll switch over to this so that I can break these open. And now might be a good time to cook up some stuff too, if you wanted to. Bring some highly shrooms. Whoa, it's a whole collection of shrooms in here. Okay, is anything here new to photograph? An Endura shroom. Yes, there is. Um, uh, but everything else? Oh, the rush room, that's a classic. Can't believe we haven't gotten the photo until now. Grabbing all this out as much as I can. There's our Endura shroom. A rare yellowish orange shroom. Cook it before eating to temporarily increase your stamina limit. Will do. And another hearty truffle. So, of course, with the stamina shroom, we can increase our stamina for a short amount of time. If I were to, I got a lot of flint. Wherever it is, I know I have a ton of it. Hmm. Well, let's sort some stuff by type. That makes it a little bit easier to find this kind of thing sometimes. Here, 52 flint is more than enough. If I just drop it and then I hit it, of course, it should. Oh, uh, try it again. I'm never a big fan of the fact that it needs to be like right next to it. it. Needs to be really close, but there we go. That's enough and my stuff is on fire. What do I want to cook up? There's a lot of options, but I'm thinking if we order this by like newly obtained, is that a thing I can do? I guess not. Um, I can do the truffles over here, which this rare mushroom has a rich scent. All your hearts and temporarily increase your maximum hearts when used in cooking. So I want to just combo something like that with apples because I think that would make something that gives us extra hearts. We get full recovery, hearty fruit mushroom mix. And I could do that a couple of times if I really wanted to get a bunch of bonus hearts. What if I did that with like, you know, a wild berry. I think it'll still make the same fruit and mushroom mix, but we get plus three. That's really good stuff. Um, and then of course there's other things like this will increase our attack power, something I've been meaning to do for a while. And obviously temporarily, but good to have this kind of bonus attacks like that. Um, and upping our defense over here could be a good idea as well. What if we combo that with some meat? We have some raw meat over this way. We're gonna cook all this together and make something new, right? The tough meat stuffed pumpkin. Grants a low level defense boost. This hollow meat filled pumpkin is a local specialty of Kakariko Village. That's nice. So we have little upgrades like that, which can be really useful. We can always come back to cook some more. And I know that there was another um, entrance. Oh, hey, uh, before you do anything, let me get a quick pick. There we go. And that's new boomerang for sure. Can I take a picture of the boomerang right now? No, okay. Somehow you have not noticed me, which is very silly. Uh, 
I do have a little bit more we can do with this, right? There we go, I'm in trouble now though. Uh, if I could just back it up and just get to poking you. I broke one of the halberds, but I can get that. There we go. So that's a brand new weapon right there, as well as some other new stuff. We got a blue Lizalfos horn, and I think it was a boomerang. Another new boomerang from the Lizalfos. This is the giant boomerang. Very cool. So I definitely want to pick up some of these. So grabbing this, a very long sword-like horn, attach it to a weapon to moderately increase its attack power or cook it with a critter to brew an elixir. And then of course the giant boomerang, a massive boomerang that is weathered and decayed. It was originally used for hunting, but it can be a challenge to wield. Throw it well, it will come back to the thrower. Th uh, thrown, th thrown well, whatever that said. I don't know, sort of misread it, it's okay. Uh, is there anything I wanna get rid of here so that I can actually have that? I'll, I'll throw this for now. Um, we'll try this. This still is going up. I know I have to go back down for the one path, but I think we're finally at the end of it in a way. Yeah, okay, there's like a, a trap door. So I need to go back down because I did miss one, but uh, we're gonna dive in for all of our hard work. I can't believe it. We made it through this whole thing. What an adventure it's been, but like I said, not yet gonna celebrate because I don't think we ever went down this one. And uh, speaking of which, whoa, okay, uh, hey buddy. Let's see what we can have against you. I might want to try our brand new giant boomerang, but honestly, it's not the most damaging thing. Oh, wait, ow! Okay, the fairy, I think, just saved me. That hurt. Let's get some extra health. Full recovery, get an extra. Okay, I got you there, and you're complaining about it. This is our chance to maybe uh, bring out our sword. I want to hit you with the topaz rod. There we go, he's not so happy about that one. Let's get the Soldier Reaper too, and we're just gonna give you everything we got, and then when that effect ends, I guess we could uh, hit you with the Sapphire Sword too. Ready, freeze ya. And then I wanna maybe make some distance with you, and just start jabbing. I know that these weapons aren't super damaging, so obviously it just it takes some time, but we're just not gonna give him the chance to get up. So far it's going really well. I feel like this happens a lot in this game where there's a situation where the enemies just simply can't get up and we just sort of batter them forever. Anyways, I got a new refresh on all that. We'll open up this chest. But now I'm sort of thinking maybe we should go back up the other way. We'll get a soldier spear, which we've gotten one of these before, right? Uh, I think. I'll drop this one. Guess we'll find out soon enough. If this has more, then I think I have to turn around again because there was a latch to that door, right? If we could open that up, that might mean that we can uh, come back here later. You know what I mean? So that could be good. So yeah, I'm going back and forth right now, but I'm just trying to find out what is like the right way to go and which way is like the dead end. And technically we have a continuous area over here, but you can see it is the Royal Hidden Passage. This is the ending of the passage, if we can open that part up. So we need to go and do that right now. So now that I'm up here, what can I do to open this? It looks like I can just grab it and move it, but maybe not from here. Well, that's where I can, if I can grab it and move it, then I can ascend up here just to get a good idea of what's going on. Because at this point, we're not in the, the thing anymore. We're just properly in Hyrule Castle. And who are you? Hey, Nobiro. So this is the inside of, Hi of Hyrule Castle. It's practically a maze, hmm? Yeah. Oh, Link, right? Sorry about that. I didn't see you there. I'm the Bureau. I'm st there, there's still a bunch of valuable treasure and weapons inside the castle, so they asked me to guard the place from thieves. But I'm a little lost. Huh. Oh, but don't you worry about me. Go right ahead. I mean, you are from the castle after all, so yeah. Interesting. So we've made our way to Hyrule Castle, a place where there's plenty of treasure and weapons to find, which is great, but clearly something we'll be doing much, much later in the game. I just wanted to open this so that we can have access to it for later. I will go a little bit farther in the opening we had before, but then after, I think it's good to call it quits, go back into um, the village, and just sort of next episode, I definitely want to start making progress towards some other areas. I think I might have went too far down, I'm not sure. It's around here somewhere. Actually, maybe not though. Um, it was around here somewhere. Yeah, that's where we came in from. Okay, so yeah, is there any more down this way that we really should be checking out? I don't know. It seems like there could be around this corner, yeah. And this might just lead to another exit, or at least, like I said, to wider parts of the castle. Um, really seems like it. Yeah, I guess we would just go up there which I can't quite do that with the Ultra Hand from here, but I could recall up and 
just do that for now. So exit like this, and where exactly are we? I think once again, just sort of back in the castle. Pretty far into it too, we're in one of the gatehouses. Oh yeah, so guards chamber. Wow, this is getting really cool, but definitely something we should save for some other time. Uh, we've done a great job, we explored from the very beginning, the very opening of it, the, well, what is this? That's still another entrance to Royal Hidden Passage, but yeah, we got from all the way from here into this cave, wibbling, wobbling all over the place, and made our way, of course, to the other side, inside of Hyrule Castle. We found the full guards gear along the way. That is gonna be so useful for us in the future. As we're going against stronger, stronger enemies, we need to be able to keep up the pace and have good defenses. Now we'll have that with this armor. So we are back at Lookout Landing Skyview Tower, and that was a really fun diversion, and I think we got a lot of cool stuff done. But with that being said, what is next for us? Of course, just a few episodes ago, we completed everything we needed to do back at, uh, Rito Village when it came to saving the town and uh, getting the Wind Temple completed. Now I want to continue with that idea and go over to the reg regional phenomena up here. So we'll be basically making our way over to Death Mountain to help out the Gorons, meet up with them at the Goron City, whatever that's called. That should be pretty cool. But with that being said, for right now, that is going to wrap it up for today's episode of The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.